Hi everybody! It's Dawn in the Kitchen Witch. Um, it's another writer's series. So when we left, last left our cookbook writer, uh, I, I gotta be honest with you, I don't even know where you last left me or where I last left you. Um, I've been working really hard on finishing up the second section because the book is being run in uh, three sections. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it because I feel like I'm, I'm right on schedule. Um, and for those of you who might be doing the same kind of project, maybe you're writing a cookbook, maybe you're putting together um, like a compilation of your own recipes, um, I thought that I might share with you a little bit about um, how I'm arranging my recipes. There's the, the writing part of everything, which is more like a stream of consciousness, sort of like my experiences my thoughts, um, how I work with these certain foods, um, and then peppering in some of the magical attributes, some of the meditation exercises that I do, some of the visualization techniques that I do when I'm cooking. Um, but in terms of like the recipe stuff, something that's really worked well for me is sort of like ahead of time, just kind of scratch writing down, like I have tons of, like tons of notes, right? Um, kind of like scratch writing down like I know um, because this is a, a, a book about uh, love foods, aphrodisiac foods, things like that, I know there are certain ingredients that I want to use um, and that I want to focus on because of their energetic or magical um, properties. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm kind of scratch writing down all of those things and then sort of um, going through my own mental catalogs of recipes that I use all the time, things that I really like. Um, I'm going through all my old books and my old notebooks and my old magazine clippings um, and, and sort of getting inspired from that and, and putting together recipes based on that for what I think best fits these topics. Um, that has been working really, really well for me. So um, maybe if you're working on something similar, uh, categorizing it in that way might be really great for you too. I don't know. Uh, it's working for me. Today was, um, in terms of writing, today was a day where, um, like I just, the, that stream of consciousness wasn't working for me. I was having my, um, I was being really distracted today. I was having like CEO hat for Kachina Aurora and then writer hat and then CEO hat and then writer hat, like back and forth and back and forth. It helps nothing that I'm wearing my glasses. Yes, I wear glasses. Doesn't it make me look like a brainy author? Um, actually, I'm out of contact lenses, so I'm stuck in my glasses for the next couple of days. Um, and to be fair, I find it a little distracting because I usually only wear these, uh, like, before bed. So, um, but it does make me look all scholastic. Anyway, I won't bore you with that. Um, so I was having a little bit of a hard time getting my mojo going in terms of, like, the stream of consciousness kind of writing experience, kind of writing and that sort of thing. So I decided today I was just going to focus on ingredients and recipes. Um, and I have a completely separate file in my computer that is nothing but recipes and then one that is nothing but ingredients and their magical uses and their attributes and how I use them. Um, and then I have sort of like the body of work and I'm um, sort of piecing them together and putting them back and forth. So that's been really working well for me because on days like today, uh, it's important that I still work. It's important that I still write. So I'm writing recipes. Um, you know, I think I mentioned in our last, on our last uh, writer series video that one of the hard parts about doing a book like this is if there are recipes I'm not sure of, uh, things that are new or things I've only done once or twice, I actually have to physically make them. I actually have to physically like buy the ingredients, make sure my own directions are right, um, and then and try them out. And I try them out on my my husband and try them out on my my friends at work um, and have actually started giving some of those recipes away. Today I sent a recipe to my cousin to see uh, if she makes this cake, if it comes out good for her too, just sort of like to test it because um, it came out awesome for me. So this week, I'm sorry, my cat is screaming at me. Um, <laughs> this weekend, there she is. This is this is Tallulah um, and she's, she's just being a pain in the butt. Um, so this weekend, I am going to be making a lot of, uh, believe it or not, 
pizzas um, and sandwiches uh, because I added a whole section um, to one of the, the parts of the book that's about bread. Um, like Oprah, I love bread. Do you love bread? She prefers tuna, if we're being honest. Um, so uh, as someone who's gluten-free, I've got a lot of uh, negotiating to do on those bread and pizza recipes to make sure that they're still delicious for my gluten-free friends and cats who slap you in the face with their tails. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Tallulah and I will see you guys next time. We have more writing this week and I'll keep you updated on my progress. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the bell uh, so you can get, you know, when we put up videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on Facebook for all the good stuff going on with Kachina Aurora. And again, um, thanks for watching and thanks for supporting me and keep working on your own projects because we will get there together. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.